Compromise starts by elevating culture to the same level as Christ. But I think what's maybe more deceptive is when we take the good parts of culture and we raise them up to the same level of Christ. And we say they're interconnected with Christ and they should never be taken apart. You can't have one without the other. You can't have Christ without this thing. And I think one of those things for our culture might be consumerism. Now, I don't think consumerism is a bad thing. Uh, I love that when I have a hankering for chicken, I got possibilities, okay? I love, I love that about America. I can receive my food and then I can leave. I love that about our culture. But what I hate is that some people are taking that mentality and inserting it into Jesus' church. I want to I receive, and if, if you don't give me the, the chicken that I like, I'm going to go to another church because I, like their, I, need a, I need this kind of music. That's what I'm looking for, that flavor of music. I'm looking for this flavor of a personality who preaches. I'm looking for this flavor of people. I need these people who look this way. And if you can't give it to me, I'll just go down the street and go to it somewhere else. And I don't think the church is called to consumerism. We're called to community. Community is not about receiving and leaving. Community is about giving and staying. I think we should ask the question is, am I receiving or am I giving? Am I giving into this community? Am I serving in this community? Am I looking for relationships? Am I getting to know the people or is this a room full of strangers? Am I stepping into people's pain? How about another one? I know that that pokes some of your idols. One more. I think one of the good things in culture that we've taken up and we've lifted up to the same level of Christ is patriotism. Patriotism. Now, I want to tell you right off the bat, I love this country. I really do. Like, I was born on a military base. I was born saluting the flag. I was born saying the national anthem. I, I, I love Fourth of July weekend. I love what we get to celebrate. I love our freedoms. I think we should vote. I think we should do all. I think we should participate as a church. But we should, what we should never do is raise patriotism and interlock it with the gospel message to the point where we say there's no separation between the two. And I think I see that a lot across our country where people look at God and their faith and they say, it's God and country, and don't you dare try to separate those two things. Don't you ever speak out about the sins in our country. Or people will take a look at the Constitution and they'll say, the Constitution is this living, breathing book and we should line our lives up to it. But what Jesus tells me is his word is above those things. And some people put more faith in the Constitution than in the scriptures and the values of the scriptures. I think some people will take the symbology of of the flag and raise it above the symbology of the cross even. I, I knew a church that like they had a cross on their stage, but they didn't have a flag on their stage. And there was someone who was so upset and like, we have to have this flag on the stage. I'm like there's a cross, is the cross not sufficient for us? Not that patriotism is bad, but Jesus and nationalism isn't Christianity, it's compromise. Jesus and consumerism isn't Christianity, it's compromise. These good things that we, Jesus and our pleasures, Jesus and our desires, Jesus and our careers, Jesus and our sports, Jesus and our hobbies isn't Christianity. It's compromise. And anytime we put those two things side by side and call them equal and we can't figure out how to separate them, I think we are doing a disservice to the gospel message. 